How to mix together shuffles and licks in the key of E. It's all about counting. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and a four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and a three, and four, and a one. All right, let's break down those licks. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with lick number one. This is going to be a beginner-friendly phrase that's being tacked on to the final beat of one measure of shuffling over the E chord. Just drone in with that open E string and going back and forth between the second and fourth frets, your basic shuffle. Two, two, four, four, two, two, four, four. You add in this basic lick to that shuffle and it sounds like this. One, two, three, and four, and... Okay, very simple, very beginner friendly. Okay, so combining the shuffle riff with licks is all about borrowing beats from the shuffle. And you need to be able to count through the measure very well and be able to figure out exactly where the lick is coming in. In this case, it's coming in on the upbeat after beat number three. So we shuffle. One, two, three, Okay, so that was very simple. It was just thrown in on the end four end, the open B string, third fret of the B string bent, just a slight bend there, and then the open E string. Now it's very important that you're counting because you want to be able to make it back to your rhythm by the first beat of the next measure. So, and four, and one, two, three, so practice that over and over again. Start looping it. You want to be able to play that through for a few measures, and maybe even try switching the chord up. So you can start on the E chord. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and... Then maybe switch to the four chord, A7 in this key. So, just moving the shuffle down for returning back to the E. Go back and forth between those two chords. One, two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, and four, and one. And two, and three. For some additional practice. Okay, very good everybody. Now we're moving on to lick number two. We're gonna be borrowing yet another beat from that shuffle. This time, we're only gonna play up to the one and two, and then throw in on the upbeat after the second beat. And then get back into our shuffle. Okay, let's break that down. Okay, breaking that down, following along using my tab at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. We started off with that shuffle. Two, two, four. All right, then, right after that, we have the open B string. Third fret, slight bend. Open E string. So that was the exact same thing that we played in lick number one, but it's been brought forward by one B. So one, two, and three, all right, then go back to the open B string. All right, and three, and uh. Then on beat number four, we're gonna play. All right, very cool little lick there. We're going from two, sliding up to three, and then back to two before doing a pull off to the open G string. Okay, so. Right, then resolve back to the E note, second fret of the D string. You put all that together, and we've got one, Two, and three, and a four, and a one, two. Just like that. Okay, very well done everybody. If you've enjoyed this lesson so far, then be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Thus far, you've learned how to apply a lick to the final beat of a measure. A one, two, and three, and four, and one. You learned how to apply it to the final two beats. A one, and two, and three, and a four, and one. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to play a lick that's more advanced. It's going to take up an entire measure of music. For those instances where you wanna play maybe one measure of shuffling and then jump into some lead guitar. So one, two, three, four, and one. Okay, let's break down this final lick. Okay, so real slow, it sounds like this one more time. Okay, 
So we started off with the open E string. All right, then it's going to be lick number two verbatim. Okay, then we're gonna play the open D string, second fret of the A string, third fret bend, and then that'll get you back into your shuffle or to the resolve. Okay, let's play the full lick now, real slow, starting from that first measure of shuffling. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and a three, and a four, and a one. All right, one more time, just the lick. All right, just like that. Congratulations, everybody. You've learned how to combine your licks and your shuffles. Just practice those over and over again. Get them into your muscle memory. And remember, the pursuit of speed is a very gradual process. So start off slow and then work up these licks to full speed.